exposed the banking fraud. Citibank, JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America are the most powerful controllers within the corrupt Federal Reserve System. It's time to boycott these institutions. If you have a bank account or a credit card with any of them, move your money to another bank. If you have a mortgage, refinance with another bank. If you own their stock, sell it. If you work for them, quit. This gesture will express contempt for the true powers behind the private banking cartel known as the Federal Reserve and create awareness about the fraud of the banking system itself. 2. Turn off the TV news. Visit the emerging independent news agencies on the internet for your information. CNN, NBC, ABC, Fox, and all the others present all news pre-filtered to maintain the status quo. With four corporations owning all major media outlets, objective information is impossible. This is the true beauty of the internet, and the establishment has been losing control because of this free flow of information. We must protect the internet at all times, as it is truly our savior right now. Three, don't ever allow yourself, your family, or anyone you know, to ever join the military. This is an obsolete institution now used exclusively for maintaining an establishment that is no longer relevant. U.S. soldiers in Iraq work for U.S. corporations, not the people. Propaganda forces us to believe that war is natural and the military is an honorable institution. Well, if war is natural, why are there 18 suicides every single day by American veterans who have post-traumatic stress disorder? If our military men and women are so honored, Why is it that 25% of the American homeless population are veterans? 4. Stop supporting the energy companies. If you live in a detached house, get off the grid. Investigate every means of making your home self-sustainable with clean energy. Solar, wind, and other renewable energies are now affordable consumer realities, and considering the never-ending rising cost of traditional energies, it will likely be a cheaper investment over time. If you drive, get the smallest car you can, and consider using one of the many conversion technologies that can enable your car to be a hybrid, electric, or run on anything other than establishment fuels. 5. Reject the political system. The illusion of democracy is an insult to our intelligence. In a monetary system, there is no such thing as a true democracy, and there never was. We have two political parties owned by the same set of corporate lobbyists. They are placed in their positions by the corporations, with popularity artificially projected by their media. In a system of inherent corruption, the change of personnel every couple of years has very little relevance. Instead of pretending that the political game has any true meaning, focus your energy on how to transcend this failed system. And six, join the movement. Go to the zeitgeistmovement.com and help us create the largest mass movement for social change the world has ever seen. We must mobilize and educate everyone about the inherent corruption of our current world system, along with the only true sustainable solution declaring all the natural resources on the planet as common heritage to all people, while informing everyone as to the true state of technology and how we can all be free if the world works together rather than fights. The choice lies with you. You can continue to be a slave to the financial system and watch the continuous wars, depressions, and injustice across the globe while placating yourself with vain entertainment and materialistic garbage. Or you can focus your energy on true, meaningful, lasting, holistic change, which actually has the realistic ability to support and free all humans with no one left behind. But in the end, the most relevant change must occur first inside of you. The real revolution is the revolution of consciousness, and each one of us first needs to eliminate the divisionary, materialistic noise we have been conditioned to think is true, while discovering, amplifying, and aligning with the signal coming from our true empirical oneness. It is up to you.
what we are trying during all these discussions and talks here is to see if we cannot radically bring about a transformation of the mind. Not accept things as they are, but to understand it, to go into it, to examine it. Give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out, a way of living differently. But that depends on you and not somebody else. Because in this there is no teacher, no pupil, there is no leader, there is no guru, there is no master, no saviour. You yourself are the teacher and the pupil, you are the master, you are the guru, you are the leader. You are everything. And to understand is to transform what is.